Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to go over the EGPWS. This is the Helicopter Enhanced Ground Proximity Warning System. It's by Honeywell. It's not in very many of our aircraft. I think it's only in two of our EC-135s. Uh, I think it's also in the S-76s, but they're getting phased out. The machines are anyway. Um, everybody else has the h is the other one. It's uh, the Sandel. Sorry. Anyway, this is going to be a quick video, quick update. All it is is a database update how to update the database because it's kind of hard to find the instructions and since very few of our helicopters actually use this quick video you get an update every four to eight weeks super simple we're just going to go over that real fast so if you get one of these cards it's just a compact flash card nothing it's like the old cameras you know about 15 years ago had these anyway you look at the version that they sent you this one's 634 i just updated the other day figured i'd make a video and this is the old card right here uh, version 633. We go back to the back of the EC-135, open up the clamshell doors, drop down the Pelican rack, and up in the top left, at least that's where mine is, is the EGPWS computer. And on the top of that thing is a little rubber plug. Uh, here's a better view. Anyway, the card goes into the top of the thing. Here's a better view. That screw right there, you don't have to unscrew all the way. You can just loosen it up, but if you want to take it out, that's fine too. It just holds down that rubber plug. That rubber plug is really hard to get out. But on the bottom side of it, or I mean the aft end of it, if you just lift it up with your thumbnails or whatever, you could pry it up and then just rotate it out of the way. And then there's a, uh, the cards there. I don't have a picture of that. Sorry about that. But there's a button right there. And it's a mechanical button. You push it and it ejects the card. So take the card out, put the new card in. It only goes in one way, so don't force it in the other way. All right? Once you have the card in, put that rubber rectangle plug back in, tighten that screw. After you plug in that card, you need to turn on the aircraft power with ground power, something that gives you 28 volts, and let it sit for like half an hour. And then after that, you go push the test button. So push the test button. The guy says, EGPWS system OK. Press 2, continue. So you push it again. He goes through a whole bunch of stuff. It's like two minutes. But eventually you're going to get to... The database version. Train database version. Six, three, four, and AM. NAM stands for North America region, I guess. And then it continues and it says a whole bunch of information. I'm going to zoom through it super fast. And this is only like 10 seconds. And this was, anyway, this is five times speed of the guy talking. And I cut out even another minute of him talking so blah 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 and then at the very end he says end of self test end of self test okay cool done easy right easy anyway where do you find this information it's honeywell egpws mkxxi or 21 and the number to this manual right here the pilot's guide is 060-4314-100 and i'll put a link in my shared google drive with you guys and if you know, i'll put a link in the description if you need it because honestly it's hard to find if you just google this number 060 blah 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 dude it came out in 2003 uh, i mean the la it was last revised in 2003 so uh, there's newer versions of this machine and uh it's time for I don't know, the fleet to be upgraded to something new. My two cents. So you open up the pilot's guide. Where do you go? You go all the way to page 23, paragraph 15. It says database update procedure. It's really easy. It says everything I just did, okay? Remove the train database compact flashcard from the socket on the top of the unit. Okay, we got to go to the next page after that. And it says install the new train data database in the socket, blah, blah, blah. Uh, turn on the... EGPWS circuit breaker to on, and then it says this right here, okay? It says the MKXXI will automatically revalidate the terrain database. This process may require as much as 30 minutes, depending on the size of the region, and you won't know it's updating. It does nothing, it, it, or it tells you nothing, okay? It says allow this process to continue before proceeding, and the system will be inoperative during this time, okay? So you just power up the aircraft and let it sit and it reads the data or revalidates it or whatever. It takes 30 minutes, literally. You, you don't have to be outside. It doesn't hook up with satellites or anything. You could do it in a hangar, no big deal, right? Anyway, it says to perform operational version verification uses steps in the preceding section. So if we go back uh, a couple pages and we go back to, what is it, uh, paragraph 14? 
So you go back to uh, paragraph 14, it says application software and terrain database version verification. That's what we're doing. And it tells you about holding the button down and blah, blah, blah. When you hold the button down, you hold it, you push the button for more than half a second, but for less than two seconds. That's how you go to the next um, next screen or it says cont or to continue. And it goes through all that and says a bunch of crazy stuff. But push the ST button, which is a test button to initiate level one test, self-test. After level one self-test message starts, press the ST button to cancel level one and start level two. After level two start message begins current faults, press the ST button again to cancel level two. When you hear the message press to continue, press the ST button to start level three self-test system configuration, okay? Then it says verify that the following message, message is enunciated, part number, blah, blah, mod status, blah, blah. It says note, ignore serial number message application software version X. And then it, shows, it, says, then it tells you the terrain database version. And that's what you want to know. You want to know, make sure that it has the terrain database that you just plugged in, all right? Then it also says right here, note, ignore the rest of the messages, which continues for two minutes, and the guy talks so slow. EGPWS, system OK. The guy, the computer, right? Anyway, pretty easy, not difficult. Um, just making this video, just in case you run into this, and you're like, I have no idea. Like, if, it, if a card shows up, and you're like, I don't know what to do with this thing. Well, I don't even know where it goes on the aircraft. Anyway, it's not hard, quick video. Again, I appreciate you guys for tuning into the channel. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time. All right? Later.